Hey guys, how's it going? So Procreate uh, have just launched a new update um, and you've probably heard you can now use fonts in Procreate. They've added a new text tool, so that's really cool. Uh, but what you might not know is you can also use uh, OpenType SVG fonts. So yeah, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to um, download and install fonts, both regular fonts and SVG fonts, and uh, download and install them onto Procreate. Okay guys, so I'm going to jump straight into the iPad and before we start I just want to mention a few things. Um, obviously you need Procreate app and you need the latest version of Procreate. It's um, I think it's version 4.3 but if you just jump into the App Store um, and it will tell you what version you're using or if there's an update. Um, also you need to use the latest iOS version on your iPad so if you just pop into your settings and then go into software update you can just make sure you're using the latest up uh, the latest software at the moment it's 12.2 uh, which I'm using so um, I'm also using I also need um, this this app to unzip um, any font files so it's called iZip um, there's a few of them you can use but if you just jump into the into the app store uh, and then type in iZip um, this is the one I recommend using. Um, it's just so we can stay within the iPad and we don't need to jump on a, a desktop computer. So, okay, so, um, yes, yeah, so you'll have your font link to download. Um, if it's if you've bought it from Sexel Studios, it'll, you'll get an email with a font link, or you might be downloading a link from, from uh, another marketplace or something. Um, but it's the same process, so I'm going to copy this link from the email and I'm going to open it in Google Chrome. So I'm just going to paste it in there and so you'll see this little download bar at the bottom here so I'm just going to click on download um, if you're downloading uh, an SVG font um, they're usually quite large file sizes compared to regular fonts so uh, I'm going to skip this part but um, yeah I'm using my my uh, my own SVG font called hot mess and it comes with a regular version and an SVG version so I'm going to look at um, installing both of those onto Procreate. All right, guys. So once that is finished downloading, you shall see um, the button at the bottom is, uh, says open. So we'll click on that and then choose save to files. And um, we're going to save it on your iPad. So click on the on my iPad drop down. And then if you've installed the iZip app, you should see a folder that says iZip. So we're going to click on that and we're going to add it to there. So if you jump into the iZip app now, uh, when you first open it you'll see this menu on the side um, and you should see the files um, button there. So if you click on that you should see the um, zip file that we've just downloaded. Um, so yeah, I downloaded the hot mess SVG font from my website so I'm going to click on that one and you should be prompted to unzip all the files here so I'm going to press OK and there we go so the files are unzipped uh, so you can jump into Procreate now and yeah you can just start a new document just press the plus button in the top right hand corner I'm just going to use screen size uh, and if you head to the actions um, icon which is the spanner icon in the top left hand corner um, you'll see the add button and you can now choose add text so it brings up like a standard font um, and it will just choose the color which you've chosen in the in the color picker there in the top right hand corner so I'm just going to type uh, anything sweet sorry I keep nudging the camera here guys <laughs> it's my first time filming the iPad so I'm a bit rusty um, so yeah once you've done that just press edit style and we are going to then choose import font uh, so click on on my iPad in the locations menu uh, and you should have an iZip folder here and you'll see the folder that you've just unzipped so it, it's hot mess SVG font so with my SVG font like I said I've got the SVG version and the TTF version so I've put those in separate folders so I'm going to install the regular version first and then I'm going to press import font again and I'm going to choose the SVG version now and so if you look in the font menu here, on the left hand side you should see both of those new additions. So I'm just going to make the size bigger, you've got a menu here to change all the settings of the font. Um, so 
Yeah, so that's the regular version and it also supports the SVG version as well, which is really cool. So you've got those textures built into the font. Um, yeah, so I just want to take a quick look at colouring the font now. So if you're using a regular font, um, which is most likely, you can just double click the text and then from the colour picker you can just choose any colour uh, to change your font colour. But with the with the um, SVG fonts, obviously they have the colour sort of built in there, so in this case it's a black watercolour. Um, so you can't change the colour in that way, but you can change it. Um, what you have to do is, just press done, and then we're going to um, create a new layer in the layers panel above the text layer. And then um, if you choose the colour from the colour picker that you want um, the, the, the text to be, so let's just do a blue again. Um, and then with that new layer, if you just double click the new layer and then we're going to choose fill layer and it will choose the blue colour that you've chosen. Uh, then if you double click it again and choose clipping mask and it will um, clip to the text layer beneath it. So um, yeah, now we have some very cool blue watercolour text and yeah, I think that covers everything guys. So there you have it guys, that is how to use your own fonts with Procreate. Um, I hope you found that useful, but as always, if you have any questions or if you run into any trouble, feel free to give me a shout. It's sam at setsellstudios.com and I will see you guys later.